You're listening to the Study Clicks podcast, your number one source for junior and leading cert tips. We make exams easier. Hi, and welcome back to a brand new school year with the Study Clicks podcast. We are back and fresh. You're not even thinking about the summer. Summer means nothing to you. It was great. We all had a great time, <laughs> but we're all ready to get amazing results. If you're a new listener, just a fresh recap. My name's Nessa. I work for Study Clicks. I do the social media, so make sure you're following Study Clicks on Facebook if you have it, Twitter if you have it, Instagram and Snapchat. You'll find great study memes and study tips and advice on all of them. So yeah, make sure you're following. And uh, my name is Emer. You probably know me either from the site, from messaging you all the time, bothering you with different stuff. But uh, hopefully the stuff I message you, you find it useful. Me and Ness are actually sisters, but we both work for Study Clicks and we both did pretty well in our exams. So this podcast is mainly us sharing tips, advice on how to get through it, how to do your best, and a lot of it is just us telling you to calm down. (laughs) Because at the end of the day, it's really not the end of the world, these exams, and hopefully the podcast is kind of just a nice calming thing to listen to now and then, to remind you that you can do this, and with a few tips and tricks, uh, it's going to be a breeze for you. You can so manage it, and we're here to remind you that like we're not perfect either. We might sound like we have it all together, but when we were doing it too, we struggled as well. There were oh, lots yeah. of hard times. There was a lot of stress. We, we, it's the leaving search, junior search, exams in general, they're always going to be tough, but anything that we can do to make it easier, that's what we're here for, so we hope you keep listening. Yeah. And uh, our podcast intros aren't usually this long. Hopefully you're still with us, but yeah, we're... yeah we'll get into it. <laughs> so this this um this particular podcast is due to the timing and due to it being the first week back, we're going to do one all about uh, going back to school and how to how get off to... on the right foot. Yeah, how to be motivated about the fact that you're back in school and just some tips on how to start now and keep up those good vibes and... <laughs> How to be in the best mindset now and how to keep that up then for the rest of the year. So make sure to stay tuned until the end of the podcast. Otherwise, you're going to miss out on some class tips. Some unbelievable, unreal tips. Yeah. Okay, so tip number one, and you probably, it's the last thing you want to hear, but you really should start now because you're fresh. You're just back right off summer holidays. You have had a nice long break from all of that studying, exams and worry. You've had a nice long rest and a break. And I know it's kind of hard because like, oh, exams and even even Christmas exams seem so far away right now. Yeah. But it's just... You can still <laughs> taste the ice cream in the summer. <laughs> You're like, what? I don't need to do anything. Sure, I don't even have any homework to do or... But... But, oh, just a little bit, like even the tiniest little bit every night just to make things easier. Anything that you can... If you're in one of the later years, like third year or sixth year, go back over some things that you did last year. If you're starting out in a new cycle, if you're first, second year or fifth year, start revising anything you learned in class that day. Just jot down a few notes. Just make sure that you are retaining the most important pieces of information that you learn every day because you really will thank yourself later. If you find yourself a week before the Christmas exam and, oh crap, I didn't do any study up until now and now you're trying to cram it whereas if you start now in September this is us you've no excuses come Christmas time if you listen to this podcast and you don't take the advice you have no excuses because we told you (laughs) no we're only messing we're not trying to be uh, bossy here but it really is I know it seems daunting and you're like sure what do I have to do now there's no point I'm just gonna relax but it's not like it's hard work at the moment because you don't have too much things going on you shouldn't have too many projects and homework piling up just yet so it really is the ideal time to just do a little bit even if it's just 20 minutes half an hour in the evening like it really will stand to you later on in the year it's so worth it yeah promises and your future self will thank you for it 100 uh secondly then i would say is try and start with a positive attitude like i know going back to school and your freedom being taken away from you is just you want to be all doom and gloom and I get it it's everyone gets that feeling but really try and come at it with a positive attitude because if you go into it and you're just even if you just automatically switch on negative feelings 
you're just going to struggle so much more in class. Yeah, and I think it's like it's especially true for third and sixth years because everyone goes into either the junior cert or the leaving cert with this expectation of it's going to be so horrible. Everyone talks about, oh, it's so stressful because you've so much study. And this whole thing about the stress, it really is, we've kind of noticed through working with study clicks, it's a very recent thing that people seem to be getting more and more anxious about it every year, but the the exams really haven't changed too much. So there's yeah. there's no reason to be more stressed about it. Um, it's honestly fine and you'll be totally okay. But what's really going to damage you if you start the year with a negative attitude if you start either third or sixth year saying oh god this is exam year it's going to be such a horrible time i've heard so many bad things about it and therefore i of course believe them because, you know that, that this is not the right attitude to have do not think that be your own person you know gather your own opinions and your own attitudes and find out for yourself whether you like the year or not i personally loved both third and sixth year i thought they were great crack i remember like there's some kind of buzz about doing the exact same exam as everyone your age all around the country there was like you can look forward to, to the memes yeah there's they great will, memes <laughs> they will be good they're coming they're fantastic yeah and um, yeah, there is, yeah, like you said, there's a sense of community. And there's a it sense is, of yeah. purpose as well. You know, you have something to strive for. It's good for your own personal development, I think, to have something yeah. that you want to do well in. Because with both exams, and especially the junior cert, because you're only kind of halfway through your um, true secondary school, there's like this whole thing of people trying to tell you that it doesn't matter. But there really is like it is really great for your own sense of purpose and just wanting to strive towards something It having that kind of early on in your like teenage years it really does stand to you in adulthood when you're striving to do other things it, like nothing's ever completely pointless you're you're always learning you're always developing mentally so I think yeah having that end goal and working towards it is really important and I think bringing back to the main point you can absolutely be in control of your attitude to it just try and be as positive as you can yeah, the only thing it'll do is stand to you mm. because it's just going to make everything that little bit lighter, that little bit easier. Of course, I mean, just think about it. If you go in there really negative, just dreading the whole year, of course, it's going to be harder for you. Mm. So just think about it logically. Maybe, you know, if I start now, if I try to be positive, I'm not trying to say that you have to stay positive for the whole year because, yeah, sure, there's probably going to be moments where you're a little stressed or where exams don't go the way you want them to. It's OK to not feel positive all the time, but you've only just started the year so there's no point being negative right now I really urge you to just look at it in the best way possible and go into it with a smile a smile <laughs> and a positive attitude as corny as that sounds yeah so I feel like I've made this point uh, in a lot of podcasts and blogs before but you're always going to have to go through bad situations so you might as well just think about the fact that right I'm going to have to do this anyway I might as well just take on the pos positive attitude, enjoy myself and take control of my own happiness. Yeah, because there might be other external things that kind of try to get you down. But at the end of the day, you're your own person. You're, you're your own person. The exams aren't going to change your whole life. It's not the end of the world. You'll get over them. You're the only one that can kind of be in control of that attitude and... No one else can really change whether you're being negative or positive about it. That has to come from you personally. It's all down to you at the end of the day. Yeah. So just take control of it and do with it as you should. You have which all is the power. Mm -hmm. So after that, those are more kind of like personal positivity. That's kind of like your mentality to, and your attitude towards it. Yeah. yeah, but I guess a more practical tip and if you are... Long time listeners of this podcast. Side note, if you're not long time listeners and you want more tips for the year, make sure to go on to our Study Clicks uh, podcast page, wherever you listen to podcasts, whether it's Apple Podcast, Acast, etc. You'll find all of our previous podcasts there and you can listen to them. We've got some nice ones on different ways of studying. So Yeah, we've got some good podcasts up already, so be sure to listen back. Yeah, but uh, we often talk about in other podcasts, if you have listened to them, you'll know this well, that we, we <laughs> like to mention our good old study clicks plan we love a good plan <laughs> um plans are crazy important like uh just don't even think about starting without one you won't get anywhere yeah it's just essential for getting anything done because if you try to sit down and study and you don't know 
what your end goal is or like what exactly you're studying, then you'll just end up wasting your time trying to study something very general and you don't know how long you're going to study for and then you won't get something else done that you thought you should have gotten done and it's a whole disaster. So what you need to do is make a plan. It's very straightforward. You can make your own study plan or alternatively, if you'd like a handy template, we have them on the StudyClicks website. So just go on to studyclicks.ie. They're on our blog. Just search for how to make the perfect study plan. That's where you'll find it. If not, literally just message someone on the site. You can message me on Instagram or something like that. I'll link you directly to it. So yeah, that's really handy. You can just, it's free, you download it and you print it out. Yeah, it helps you organize exactly what you're going to do. And that's a weekly planner and we, if you're already an active StudyClicks user, we'll actually be sending everyone out uh, a message with that handy there for you to just download. And we also usually at the start of the year send out a calendar as well. So kind of like a bigger sheet where you can see the different weeks and months of the whole school year. And that can be really handy as well because you can really visualize then what's coming up you know, you, you can jot in details like when are the Christmas exams? When do I have to have this project done by? Put in personal stuff as well. Obviously, you know, you need to stay on top of your personal life. Don't ignore that. Don't give up all of your personal life and your hobbies and your, you know, extracurricular activities. It's no problem to have them, but make sure that you are incorporating them into your plan so that you can then gauge properly how much time you have left to do academic stuff. Yeah, and it's a healthy reminder that you do have a life outside exams in school. Yeah. The blog also explains uh, how to make the perfect plan. And also stay tuned because we will be releasing a podcast soon about also how to make the perfect study plan. But we won't get too deep into it now. But there are things that obviously make plans better and things like being specific and also setting yourself achievable goals. They're all part of uh, making a plan, but we'll do a more in-depth podcast about Mm -hmm. that another time. We will for sure. But if you want more, if you want that information now, make sure to go onto that blog on our on our website. Just to reiterate on your attitude and your mentality, it's so important that you don't freak out. It's so easy to do it, I know, especially if you feel like so much is, if you have a lot of pressure from whether it's from parents or teachers or just yourself to do really, really well. And um, it's just, don't, don't panic now. It's, o- it's only the start. You have so much time. You are so capable of just getting everything together. Just like we said before, as long as you have your plan, you know exactly what you're doing, have the right mentality, you're just staying positive. Like you absolutely got this. Um, yeah, it and it, it is honestly still so far away. You have so much time. If you're in the mindset at the moment, like, oh my God, I only have a year left and I have so much to do and we still have so much of the courses to cover. Like, you'll all get there. You'll all be grand. Don't worry. Your teachers have a plan. They know what they're doing. And if they don't, then take control of it. You will get everything done in time and you will know everything by the time that June comes around. It's still so far away and you'll honestly be grand. If you're listening to this in September, which I don't imagine you'd be listening to a back to school podcast at any other time, this is... This is it. You've so much time. You've so much ahead of you. Like this is, you're doing the right thing by listening to this now and getting your your study and your everything on track. So yeah. honestly, yeah, um, you're doing great. Don't freak out. Yeah, like we said at the start, if you start now and just do a little bit of study every evening, then you have absolutely no reason to you freak have out because to worry about. you'll be well ahead of the game. <laughs> <laughs> Another tip for getting yourself on track is that if you want to get yourself into a proper routine and, you know, be doing a little bit every night. It is important that you set yourself some rules and boundaries. Sounds like really, doesn't need to be super strict or anything. Doesn't need to like sound like prison, but... Um, just a routine. Just a routine is all it is, really. You need to have some sort of discipline with yourself, otherwise you're not going to get anything done. Yeah, you can't be like, okay, I'm going to do two minutes of study and then five hours of Instagram like no one else can decide for you um how like much television you should be watching every night how much like time you should be spending on Netflix or Instagram just know yourself how much work you want to get done and how much of your own kind of personal time you can allow around that so it is it's it's not to be too strict but just to get into a routine so you make studying easier on yourself yeah and to kind of just remind your brain that okay summer's over I'm back into school I'm back into my routine just to sort of get your brain back into that mindset of okay back into study time back to doing school from nine until four or whatever just 
training yourself back into that. Yeah, that's the great thing about having a routine or like once something becomes habit, it becomes weird if you don't do it. So if you start doing a little bit of studying every single night, that will become your norm then and it will be really easy. So Yeah, and you also you learn to appreciate your kind of downtime more mm. because if all summer all you did was kind of go on your phone or watch tv or whatever it was if you then restrict yourself and you get back into your routine and you only allow yourself small amounts of time of that every evening you really kind of appreciate it more and you really enjoy those things a bit extra so yes. it's kind of all around it's just better for your it your is. own it's sweeter mental uh, way of thinking yeah absolutely i suppose to tie in just with the routine like of course if you're if you're doing study every evening and you timetable in let's say 30 minutes it's important to also establish a place to go you know you should try and find maybe a study space in your house uh, maybe you do after school study if your school offers that but the important thing is really if to establish a space if you can make sure to keep it tidy there's no point starting the school year with a really messy desk with not all the equipment you need you only have one pencil lying around the place you know that's useless <laughs> so uh make sure that you have your your space set up properly you're ready to go and there's not stopping you from just being super productive yeah anything to do with studying like your room where you study or like a separate study room that you have your school bag your locker like i know it's obviously very easy to like after a while let it get a bit hectic and messy just try stay on top of it having all that stuff organized automatically helps you stay more focused and like a tidy a tidy room equals a tidy mind or a locker or a school bag etc so it's really important to um i mean to, if you do it a little bit all the time it's not going to be like a huge clean out but yeah. if you see like you have like um if your room if you've like so much studying to do and then your room's a mess you kind of just get that little bit more stressed out of the work you have to do so just make sure maybe get into a habit of every night just tidying up a little bit keep it looking organized and you'll feel a lot better about yourself and um, we have a whole podcast on organizational tips if you want to go back to that where we go into a bit more detail about how what are the best like if you feel like you're not an organized person and um, that's not true everyone can be organized so just listen back to that podcast for any little bits of tips and tricks that can help you get your get your life together get everything together mm. so yeah go listen back to that yeah, I think finally we're not gonna keep you too long. We know that you have plenty of organizing and studying <laughs> to get to a snap. But a good thing to do, I think, and it's really helpful just to sort of visualize where you need to go and what you need to focus on. Because of course, if it's the start of the year, you haven't really covered that much yet. You might know what you really want to focus on. But a good place to start is, of course, your uh, last exam results. So mm. if you're in third year or sixth year then you'll have your summer exams from second and fifth year and um, also if you're in second year then you'll have your summer exams from first year and any first years listening just take a handy yeah you'll be fine <laughs> honestly your first set of exams will be no bother but for the rest of you it's those exams are really a good place to see for yourself where you you want to work on. Maybe there's some subjects where you were a little disappointed, but, you know, the, those marks really aren't a big deal because no one remembers your Christmas or summer exams. Honestly, don't sweat over those things, but they're, yeah, they're just really beneficial to look at. To know. Just for yourself, just to know where you're at. Yeah, your so if, if you're struggling in a certain topic or in a certain subject, then you know to give that more time when you're making out your study plans. So just really pay attention to those and... Yeah, it's literally your own self-assessment to help you when you're studying now. So yeah, don't... That's yeah. exactly what like, those summer Christmas exams are for. Yeah. Identify your strengths and your weaknesses and just move on from there. You have all the tools you need, kind of the, the study plan, the information from your last tests, what you need to do. A ton of resources on studyclicks.ie. Yeah, if you're lost, just honestly go onto the website, the videos and notes pages. We have so much stuff. Go onto the blog pages. We have so much advice. Go onto our, our podcast, wherever you're listening to it. We There's just mounds of stuff there and if you're still lost just send us a message because we're honestly always so delighted to hear from people and just happy to help because we know it's a really stressful time and we know even though we say oh don't be stressed that it's not the easiest thing to just automatically not be stressed anymore so if you do need a bit of support there we will always do our best to try and calm you down and give our personal advice how we got through it and we are constantly online 
think I speak for both of us there. Well, that's not we true. We are if there. You, if you text me at three in the morning, I will not reply. But the next day, I will get back to you ASAP. <laughs> Basically, I think what Ness is trying to say is that, uh, yeah, if you want to get in touch with us, whether it's about a question you might have or suggestions about the study clicks or suggestions for the podcast, maybe what you want to hear next or whatever it is, really, uh, make sure to... You can email us at info at studyclicks.ie. You can also message us via the site if you're a user. If you're not a user already, I implore you to set up an account. So easy. And you can also get in touch with us over any of our social medias, all of which Nessa... Handles, yeah. Like those, earlier. those social medias, again, are Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. Only on Snapchat, if you want to add us, it's study underscore clicks. So if you're typing that in... It's slightly different on Snapchat. But yeah, message me on any one of those. I'll be there. Yeah, and last but not least, we would love it if you could give our podcast a little rating. If you have the time, give us a little review. We love to hear uh, any positive feedback. Of course, we also accept any (laughs) criticisms. If there's anything you prefer we wouldn't do or would do, do let us know. But maybe don't put that in a rating. (laughs) Because, of course, we want to get a nice high rating so we can help all the students, we can reach more students and get that advice out and just make the whole year and all those exams a bit easier for everyone. Yeah. That's our meaning. Be so, sound. Yeah. Hopefully, with all those tips, you can now move forward to the rest of up until June, really, and just stay on top of everything. You yeah. got this. You're, you've got this. You're listening to this in September. You so have your life together. Well done, you. Yeah, good on you. So we're going to leave it there for now, but you can expect a lot more podcasts coming from me and Nessa and also a range of other guests that we're going to have throughout the year on different topics, different subjects. So do make sure to subscribe and then you'll get constant updates on whenever we have a new podcast, a new episode, but we'll also be sending you messages about whenever we've got something new coming up. But do keep an eye on it and until next time. We'll see you then. Yeah. Have a great year.